Hey guys, Jay at Prada Performance here. Alright, I'm not going to do a long one on this, even though I probably could, but... Uh, Alright, so this is a C4 Stata. And I know I had mentioned in the previous video that oil flow is very important to these. And if you look at these two Statas I've got here, you know, this is the usual... 50 year old pieces that I'm dealing with and you know ugly and rusty and yeah this is what we're left with guys you know uh, you might have a clean core in your garage or something but uh, as far as the industry goes this is what we got and this is one of the reasons that I say this is the hottest transmission to build and believe it or not these are going to clean up real nice and, and be fine uh, they just it's just time consuming so uh, the purpose of this is to show you uh, just basically the first step in making these flow better uh, oil again oil flow is very important in these with their small planetaries and things uh, especially in race applications high stall converters uh, they C4 doesn't hold a lot of oil, so I like to keep it moving and through the cooler and that sort of thing. So if you look, and I've already started on this, see I got this piece of wire here. I don't know if you can see, but there's a little spring inside here. And I've hooked it uh, with this little piece of wire here. I've just hooked onto one of the coils. And what I'm going to do, I'll try to do this one-handed I've hooked it and I'm gonna pry up with this so there we go I got the spring pulled out we don't care about this spring anymore so just go ahead and yank this out and it's a mangled mess now don't care that's trash so I've also this hole was smaller I've drilled it out larger uh, with an F drill, which is a .257. Uh, there are two quarter inch balls inside this passage that need to be removed. An early model Stata from the 60s will only have one. Procedure is going to be the same. Just You just want to make sure you get two balls out of this thing. And the way I do that is if you flip this over, and where the heck did I put it? There it is. Too much junk on this bench. So if we go on this side, this is our passage. And I'm going to take a, it's an old pipe cleaner. And I've bent it. And basically you're going to stick it inside here and fish it down through. And, and what you're going to do is, th this has a hole that goes through into this hole. So I'm going to snake this down through till I feel and get it into that hole and I'm going to use a pipe cleaner to push those balls free. And again, I'm sorry, I can't do this one-handed. I don't have the stand set up. And I think they just came free. Sometimes they're very stuck and other times they're not. Yeah, you can see see the ball there now? Um, but it can't get past that there's a ball pressed into the side here and you don't really need to remove that I'll show you what to do uh, give me one second I gotta get this wire out and I can't do it one-handed one second okay uh, I got that out I apologize this isn't a great demonstration I just I need help and don't have it but so if you look this ball is here and you can drill down further and cut that ball out more so you can get this check ball out but I'm just gonna take a screwdriver and I'm just gonna pry on that ball do that and I'm just gonna push that back and again this is how to do one-handed so hang on a second okay so you can see that ball kinda sticking out now I pried that out of the way just tap this on the end here. That ball should fall out and it's going to be stubborn. 
Let me. There's usually just some chips that keep it from coming out. And you can take this ball out. And, you know, a lot of guys, they tell you to take this ball out and, you know, drill and tap this and put a pipe plug in there and all that. You don't have to do all that. Uh, you can if you want to, but this is just fine. And it's going to be stubborn because I'm trying to show you something. Uh, so hang on one second again. So you don't have to listen to me beating on this thing. Okay, sorry about that. Um, you can see that's clear now. And what you should do, blow compressed air through here and make sure you hear the air or, you know, see something coming through into here. Okay, so that way you know this passage is clear. Especially when you have a rusty looking one like this. Sometimes these balls get stuck. You know, I've seen a lot of units come through here that somebody rebuilt and these balls just got stuck and uh, very <laughs> big disaster when this happens because it uh, pressurizes the converter and doesn't allow any, you know, no or little amount of oil going through the oiling system. Uh, so it's, you know, kind of good to remove these for that. But these are the two balls they're rolling away on me. but. Uh, those are the two steel check balls that came out of there. Um, again, 70 and up is going to have two. Uh, six, 64 to 69 is just going to have one. If it's a C5 state, a 82 to 86, this is already done. Uh, you won't have that. And, you know, this, this is important in this unit. Uh, the, this downside of this would be when the car sits, especially on these hot rods and things, it might sit a week or two before you run them. You know, you can't just fire them up immediately and throw them in gear. They'll, they might take a minute to fill the converter back up because this is going to, uh, aggravate the converter drain back issue that transmissions have when they sit. So... Just keep that in mind, but you know, again, this is hot rodding, and usually you let the engines warm up a little bit, anyways, before you take off. So it's usually not really all that noticeable or a big issue. And like I said, the C5 didn't have this anyway, so Ford did it. I'm not really telling you anything that's a secret. Uh, Ford started doing it in '82 on these, so really just a factory modification. And you can uh, try to open this passage up in here too if you want to and uh, there's some other things you can do but I'm going to show you a lot of things but I'm not going to show you everything but uh, I apologize for the poor quality in this demonstration but the information's there if you're listening so all right uh, that's how you get the pump to flow better and you relieve the converter you're not building up a lot of pressure inside the converter uh, causing, you know, the converter to balloon or the thrust surface on the crank to prematurely wear out. This is going to help with all that. Those two balls in there with the spring intact. and It's restrictive. And, you know, it's fine for a factory deal. And there is an advantage to having those balls there, like I said, so when the car sits, it doesn't drain the converter out. But... For a performance application, this is important. So, okay, uh, I'm not going to carry on about this too long. Uh, I got a lot of stuff to show you on these C4s. So, this modification's been around on the internet quite a bit and uh, nothing new there. So, but a lot of you guys don't seem to know it because I've seen a lot of built units in here that this has not been done and very important in my opinion. So, okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more on these C4s and other things. And thanks a lot.